Hi, this is Jim Hensel in Portland, Oregon. I'm making yellow jacket traps today. Uh, the, essentially, it's a box that's screened. I think come around here. You can see it's screened on both sides. You can see all the way through, and it has a funnel in the bottom and a hole. There's a. This is it got a. I'll show you that in a minute. It's got a funnel, and uh, the, it has these legs that are just a continuation of the sides. Uh, so that you can set a can of tuna fish underneath here. So the tuna fish would go down in here and uh, the yellow jackets are gonna, gonna fly up through the cone and uh, get caught in this box. There's a hole in the top here that would have a board or a brick over it to uh, block it off. And when the yellow jackets uh, have filled it up you can and died, you can pour it out. So here's the same trap with the, so you can see the cone. I've just cut a hole the size of a tuna can. Uh, I just used it as a template. It could be any size. And uh, wrapped up some screen, and I'll come over the top here so you can see in, to make a, make a cone. And uh, it has a little, has a little hole in the top. You can see it right there. And what's going to happen here is the yellow jackets are going to land on the food below and when they go to take off they rise. So they'll come up through that cone and then they'll, they'll uh, buzz around down below it and be trying to get out and there's no way to get out and so uh, they get trapped. So here are the finished uh, traps. If I was to do it over again uh, and I had other material I would actually put the wood on the short side here and put put uh, screen on this side but I made this completely with materials I had laying around and I, the screen I had was only this wide about six inches and so that's why I made the boxes that way um, but any shape box will do with the cone in the bottom and some way to shake the bees out or the uh, yellow jackets out after the they're dead enjoy Jim Hensel, Portland, Oregon